What's up everybody, I'm James Jackson. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the tease that Sony has just dropped regarding their new announcement of a new vlogging camera, which has long been rumored as the ZV-E1. Hopefully to all my Canadians out there, I said it correctly. Speaking of Canadians and good Canadians, my fellow friend, Simon of Ordinary Filmmaker has invited me to join him on his live stream covering the announcement of the ZV-E1, which is March 29th. So if you wanna see me, and you wanna see the dialogue and the interactions that we have, they're always fun and enjoyable. Definitely make sure to join us. The announcement is going to take place at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The live stream is gonna probably begin around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So definitely join us. I would like to have you guys. So keep an eye out for that. For those of you all that are new here or that just found my video, my name is James Jackson. I am a filmmaker, a cinematographer, and a fellow YouTuber here. And I talk about tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if this is content that you like, please definitely please hit that subscribe button and hit the like. So that will definitely help the algorithm out. So I want to sort of just go over the rumors because it is, after all, March Madness, as I've been telling you all about. News and things and items have been dropping left and right. But yeah, it has been March Madness as we get ready to lead up into NAB 2023. And for all those out there, I will be at NAB 2023. So if you guys are going to be in Las Vegas at NAB, you know, definitely give a shout out if you see me. If not, just enjoy yourselves. It's Vegas, baby. Enjoy yourself. So Sony just dropped a teaser trailer for the ZV-E1. And I know a lot of people have been talking about it. And the reason why is because of the features, what is rumored to be coming with this camera, what is not rumored to be coming with the camera. I'm gonna leave my overall thoughts for when everything is officially announced. And also I wanna give my uh, full on thoughts with Simon during the live stream. But right now, the reason why everybody's excited is because this will potentially have the same sensor and processor as the Sony a7S. It's going to be a full frame of their uh, ZV lineup. So this is going to be the full frame lineup. It's going to have pretty much the features of the a7S III with the a7S III sensor, the a7S III processor. It's gonna be able to shoot 4K, no pixel bending up to 60 frames a second, even possibly 4K up to 120 frames per second. Though all the rumors suggest that that feature is gonna be coming out with a later update. Other things means all the cool profiles, including S-Log2, S-Log3 with the 10-bit profiles. Um, and it's going to be in a similar body as the ZV-E10, but to on a larger size that's gonna be similar to the Sony A7C. So initially, what are my thoughts on this camera? So looking at this camera, this is supposed to be their vlogging camera. So to me, this says this has got to be travel friendly. It's got to be very simple, very easy to go and it's gotta be easy to use. Those are, if it's, this is going to be a vlogging camera and it's, if it's gonna compete in this sort of space, especially in the full frame space, it's gotta meet those things. And some of the things that we're not sure that it's not has, like we don't know if it's going to have IBIS, how many media card slots it's going to be. None of those informations have seen to be confirmed. A lot of people suggest that there isn't gonna be IBIS. Now, personally, I think it would be kind of silly to create a vlogging camera that doesn't have IBIS because that's sort of the main area. If it was a professional camera, I could understand, but given it's supposed to be for vlogging, it kind of seems like it would be an odd choice. But then again, they did do that with the previous uh, ZV lineup that there was an IBIS in those. So it's very likely that they'll continue that. But that's also been uh, a big critique that you're having a camera that you're putting out for vlogs and supposed to be the vlog cameras and there's no IBIS. And Sony's not the only one. I mean, Canon just dropped the R50, which is many people's like introduction, entry level camera into whatever their lineup. And it's, that didn't have IBIS in it too. So maybe this is more of an entry camera to get into the full frame lineup. 
but then you got to look at the price point right now it's rumored to be anywhere between two to three thousand dollars which is a very competitive space even in sony's own lineup with the sony a7 IV and then you got other cameras from panasonic with the s5 II. you got canon's r6 mark ii and then of course you got the r50 which is what potentially like a fourth of the price as well so there's some very intrigued things that we're still missing about this camera that i am really excited to see and learn more about if what is to come with that uh so to me i'm looking at it as like is this going to be a great travel camera what are the features that are going to make it a great travel camera what is some things that it could definitely improve on for that because that's really where the vlogging stands now the place where this probably could be a very big hit and i could see this being a big hit is virtual uh virtual production so if you need a webcam something that would be an improved quality over your web camera uh this looks like this could be a big because it's small it's it'll be compact you'll get great image quality and you'll be able to connect that right to the computer so this to me will maybe a big big opportunity for that now the question may debate is you know again we see based on the price point how that far will go so overall um in terms of me personally i don't see my intrigue for it personally just yet but i am going to be watching it with great interest to see where they're trying to really land this camera with because given all the different cameras sony just sony themselves let alone any other manufacturer just all the different cameras that they're putting out themselves i'm really curious it, it, it's a very it's already a very saturated market just on sony's behalf it will be very interested to see what they really feel this camera is meant to resolve compared to other cameras that are lined up but these are my quick thoughts on the matter. I would love to know what you guys think about it. Let me know, leave your comments below. And please, once again, don't forget to check out the live stream with me and Simon on March 29th at 9 a.m. I look forward to seeing you all. And until next time, take care, everyone.